I, I think, I, you know, it's funny to see the Sony fanboy just desperately try to find anything to make me, I don't know what to say, to shut up or to be quiet or to censor myself or I, I don't know what the, these points that the Sony fanboy are trying to, to prove to me to, to totally destroy my arguments is out of control. They have lost their ever-loving minds. They're calling me an Xbox fanboy, and this isn't even the point of the video. They're calling me an Xbox fanboy. Yo, you don't hear the passion in my voice in every single one of my videos. You don't see the anger in my eyes. You don't see the worriedness in my tone of voice for Sony to call me an Xbox fanboy, which is fine, which is cool. You know, I would prefer to be, if I'm going to be called a fanboy, I would prefer to be called a Nintendo fanboy. <laughs> Nobody wants to call me that. <laughs> Not that I am a Nintendo fanboy, I just I just think it would be cooler to be, you know what I mean? I could do some serious trolling if I was called a Nintendo fanboy, but they won't call me that, which is messed up. Anywho, then they tried to say, well, what else have they tried to say? Oh, Zobi, we're, we're not going to go back to the glory days of Sony. So there's no need for you to make these videos and complain. And, you know, it's like they just don't have anything to combat what I'm saying because you know deep down in your soul that I am that dude. I am that Sony fanboy. I've experienced it. I've put in thousands upon thousands of dollars into the Sony brand. Now, I've been waiting for somebody to say this and just... I, God golly, I have been blessed and somebody came in the comment sessions and told me this. Zilby70, you have to purchase a PlayStation 4. You have to purchase the Infamous. You have to purchase the indie games. You have to purchase every single piece of meteorocracy that comes out of the PlayStation 4 in order to talk S-H-I-T about it. I said, got you. I got you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, like I said, I've put in thousands and thousands of dollars into the PlayStation brand. I have bought the PlayStation 1s. I bought about four of those. I bought the PlayStation 2. I bought about four to five of those. I bought the PSPs. I bought about three of those. I bought the PlayStation Vita. I bought one of those. I bought the PlayStation Go. I bought the Move Motes. I bought the games. Countless, countless. Again, I, I've kept Sony in business. Now that I see the, now this is the reason why I will not buy a PlayStation Four. And this is the, I usually day one I, I have a PlayStation product in my home. I remember we stole, we couldn't get the PlayStation Two, so we stole it from Blockbusters. We had to, we had to pay a heavy fee for Blockbusters to get that mother sucker. You know what I'm saying? I want to say stole, but we took it, pretend like it would. We lost to somebody stole it from us, and then we had to pay Blockbusters the, the fee. So we didn't steal it, but we. You know what I mean? We pulled the fast one on Blockbusters to get the PlayStation 2 because it was sold out everywhere. And this is where I learned my mistake. I, I bought the PS Vita uh, and the PS Vita didn't have any games. And, you know, I said, you know what? From now on, I'm not going to do that anymore. I, I have to be an adult. I have to be smart. You know what I mean? I can't just go out and just throw money to Sony and they're not going to cater to my gaming needs. The Persona 4 Golden was cool, but I've already played it three to four years ago on the PlayStation 2 and I actually enjoy the PlayStation 2 version better and then I this is what I said for any of the consoles for the Xbox one for the Wii U I don't even have a Wii U yet and I and I, and I like the Wii U the best out of all three of them and for the PlayStation 4 I said I am not going to purchase a console for this next generation if they are not going to cater them to my gaming needs the Wii U is right now and I will be picking one up very shortly now if you want to expose me go ahead and expose me for not getting a Wii U because I've been saying it for the past months that I was getting one and I still haven't purchased one yet but the PlayStation 4 I've never in my darnest of, of, of before it was announced after it was announced whenever it was announced I said I'm not buying that piece of crap the only time I said I was really interested when Kingdom Hearts 3 was announced come to find out it was a multi platform for the Xbox One now I don't give three craps about it it's worthless the game is junk and another thing if you go through every xbox video go to the titanfall videos go to the xbox videos 
you see Sony fanboys cluttering the comic section on the IGNs and the GameStops talking S-H-I-T. Do they own one? No. They were talking smack before the council even came out. Now I know somebody coming, I own all the councils. Well, congratulations, I'm not talking about you. Congratulations, you own all the councils, but do you own the games though? Do you own all the games? It's another video for another day. But to respond to this guy, yes, I can talk smack about the PlayStation 4. Why? Because I invested a lot of my hard earned money into all of the PlayStation products. That gives me the right to talk smack about Sony. If I'm not happy with Sony, I am going to voice my opinion. If you're not happy with Sony, you're not going to say anything. I am the only one who's going to say something. Let me say what I had to say. If you don't like it, there's other YouTubers who can cater to your sensitive needs. There's the broken games. There's the hard eight. There's a whole bunch of Sony undercover Sony fanboys, Shokyo, the Black Bot, all these guys that undercover Sony fanboys that bash the, the, the PlayStation. Go ahead and, and go over there. No, I'm sorry. They 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 bash. <laughs> they don't bash the PlayStation. Excuse me. I apologize. There's a whole bunch of them guys out there. If you don't like it, by all means, you can leave. I don't give a flip about subscribers. I really don't. I don't do YouTube to, to gain your love and appreciation. I do YouTube so I make sure that Sony hears my voice. And they know exactly who I am because I've been talking for years. They know exactly who I am. I guarantee I'll go to E3. They look at my face. They know exactly who I am. I'd never let Sony pass. When they try to pass off meteorocracy on this channel, I have never allowed them to pass off. Go to my YouTube history. If you're new here, go to my, my, my YouTube history. I've never given Sony a pass when they try to pass off meteorocracy. And I've only been the only Sam fanboy to be able to do that. Give me another Sony fanboy that's ever been able to do that. So please, you know, I understand you just started gaming on the PlayStation 2 when Ratchet and Click and, and, and Kingdom Hearts came out. But I've been putting a lot more money than you have. You don't even buy their exclusives. So how are you going to tell me I can't talk S-H-I-T about Sony? Please, man. You know what I mean? Come on. It's an embarrassment. This is embarrassing. But I got to respond to this. I get no respect. I'm a PlayStation legend, monkey. And I get no respect. In any other, in, in any other culture, you will be beaten to a pulp for not giving the legends respect. That's just, you know what I'm saying? The Sony fan base is the only fan base that doesn't give their legends respect. I've been putting, I, the reason you have a PlayStation 4 is because of the money I've been putting into this godforsaken company.